Hey everybody, welcome back to Mike's Wooden Things and Stuff. I have a quick tip for you today. It's only going to take a minute or two because I can talk a little bit sometimes without even thinking about it. Um, if you ever deal with dowels, you'll know that commercial dowels, despite what they say on the tag, are not necessarily three-eighths of an inch or a half an inch or three-quarters of an inch. And if you need them to ride nice and slick, and securely into a hole that you drill with a Forstner bit or some kind of drill bit, those drill bits aren't necessarily exactly three eighths of an inch or a half an inch and et cetera, et cetera either. So quick recommendation for you today. If you're going to use dowel attachments, if you're going to try to make a dowel fit in a hole nice and snug, make yourself a dowel block. When you're going to the store to pick up your dowels to use, Take the drill bit that you're planning on using, a piece of scrap wood, hopefully of the same type that you're going to be trying to drill the hole into for your project, and drill a hole in a little block of wood and bring it with you to the store. Because then you can go to the rack of dowels. This is a 3 8 I needed a 3 8 inch dowel, so I took this little block to the store. This is the, my 3 8 bit, which doesn't necessarily mean it's actually 3 8 And it's a piece of Douglas fir that I like the Douglas fir that I'm going to use for my, my project. Put a little 3 8 three eighths inch hole in the piece of wood, bring it to the store and you can test on the ends of the dowels until you find the one that it fits nice and snug in the hole and buy that one. Cause some of them are going to be super loose. Some of them are going to be too tight or too big to fit. Dowel block. Call this a dowel block and I make one of these and then I'd throw it out and then I should probably just make one of a couple of different types of wood with different size holes in it and mark them and keep them around. But you can always find a piece of scrap and make a new one. So I just, I just chuck them out when I'm, or they go missing. So I assume that I chuck them out. <laughs> anyway, quick tip for you today. Make a dowel block if you're using dowels uh, and you need them to fit nice and snug because you will not, if you just go to the store and you grab a 3 8 inch dowel and you come home with it, planning on using it, chances are good that it's going to be too loose in there or it's not going to fit and you're going to have to sand down the end of the dowel to, and it's just super annoying. So this takes, uh, takes some of that work away from you. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe. If you like what I do here, don't forget, I do have a Patreon page. You can go check out and see how you can help me out at patreon.com slash wooden things and stuff. I gotta go back to making stuff. I'm in the middle of making stuff. So I stop to, because I, I thought about this and I should pass this along because it's going to help somebody. See you later.